Yo, what's up? What up? What up? What up? Mother flowers. Yeah, yeah. Check it out, guys. I have a great idea. I think it's a good idea. And today, I'm going to be doing storytelling. Ooh. What do you think about that, huh? Ooh. I got a lot of stories. So, I want to share the stories with you guys. So, I want you guys to see my videos and let me know what you think. So, this video is going to be about Ralphie May. Yep. Uh, rest in peace. It's going to be really difficult to talk about Ralphie Mae, but it is something that was amazing to me. Some, some person that was just so much laughter, so much amazingness and great soul and just a great human being. So I want to talk about Ralphie Mae. So it all started about such and such amount of years. I, I don't even know how, maybe like, it could have been like three years ago. Anyways, it was, uh, at... We got notified at Bull Barber's downtown LA that there was going to be a shoot, like a photo shoot going on. And uh, they said that they wanted an interesting looking barber, a funny comedian barber. So this shoot was for Penthouse Magazine. That's right. Bam. And I didn't have to take my clothes off. So uh, they hit me up. They're like, hey, Richie, you want to be in Penthouse Magazine with two naked girls and uh, Ralphie May, the comedian. And I was like, oh, yeah, of course. What do you want me to do? He's like, oh, we just want you to cut his hair. I was like, yeah, I'm so down. Let's do this. So the only kicker was it was, I remember it was early as hell in the morning. It was about, I had to be at work at 730 in the morning at, at Bull Barber's. So the night before I was all excited, I went to the bar. I was drinking. I was getting loaded. I was getting all hammered. And I remember being, I woke up all hungover. I was like, damn, I gotta get to work. I gotta get to the penthouse shoot. To the penthouse shoot, let's go. You know what I mean? So, sorry, it's a little parse. Um, so we get, I get to the shoot and they covered the whole windows. They weren't letting anybody in, only people that were part of the shoot. And there was a lot of people actually. They had like, you know, I don't even know why they had wardrobe because. <laughs> Everybody was naked, but a lot of cameras, a lot of, they were doing a lot of stuff. There was, there was tons of people. There was like 30, 40, maybe, I don't know, whatever. So I'm waiting around and I'm thinking to myself, do I, what, like, like, how's this going to be? You know, like, do I try not to look at these porn stars or do I just like look at them? And I was like, like, how is this going to, how is this going to go? You know? So anyways, they just get naked. They're walking around naked everywhere. They're, you know, and um, all of a sudden, Rafi May is there. He comes in. And uh, I'm like, oh, dude, that's that's Rafi May. I mean, how do I how do I approach him, you know? So what do I say? Something funny? Like, do I say something clowny? I don't even know. So all of a sudden, he looks at me. And he goes, nice cock. And I'm like, what? What did you say? He's like, Nice cock on your, your side, the chicken. That's a nice cock you have. I got one myself. So he goes, he goes up and he lifts his sleeve up and he's got a tattoo of big cock on his arm. So me and him take a picture together and that totally broke the ice, you know, it was totally awesome. So I'm going to post that picture on the Instagram after this video so you can see that I always take pictures with, with um, people that like celebrities and stuff like that because... Just for my personal thing, but also people never believe me too. They're like, you never, you didn't cut so-and-so's hair. I'm like, well, bam, here's the photo. Check it out. So anyways, so after that, he tells me all about his cock and that's his only tattoo and I'm laughing. And, and uh, there, there actually, there's an interview on YouTube. If you put Richie the Barber and Rafi made, there's an interview of me talking to him. And we just talked about a bunch of stuff. I asked him a bunch of questions. How'd you get into comedy? Um, where do you live at? And he's like, you know, the, the hills... Yeah, if you look up, that's where I'm at. <laughs> He's all, uh, I'll just put like a wire to your house and I'll, I'll I'll hang glide down or something like that and then we'll hang out. That's what he, he told me. I never forgot, you know. So anyways, like, you know, he's he's just a funny guy, you know, just the whole time cracking jokes. Good times, you know. And um, he was talking about his tour. He was going on his tour. And then when he comes back, he wanted to get a haircut. But unfortunately, he passed away. He died. I don't want to get too sad on the story, but just a lovable guy. Just a really nice, really nice human being. I love comedians. And I told him that, like, you know, 
I'm like, hey, Ralphie, do you know the average American doesn't even go to, they only go one comedy show a year, if that, you know? And he's like, that's a bunch of bullshit. And I was like, yeah. What do you mean? Like, that it's not real or is it not true? Or is it the fact that people don't go to comedy shows? And he's like, yeah, it's bullshit. People should go to comedy shows more often. I was like, yeah, I think so too. If the world went to more comedy shows, it would be a beautiful and happy place. So we're just talking about that and comedians. He was talking about me. He's like, what's up, clown? Or are you some kind of comedian? Do you do comedy jokes? And I'm like, you know what, Ralphie? I tried, you know, it's that kicker, you know, like, People don't like, uh, they always want me, they're always clowning the clown, you know what I mean? And he's like, what do you mean? Yeah, yeah, I can see that. I can see people clowning the clown. I'm like, yeah, I got stories. I got to work on my stories and then eventually I'll do some comedy. I think, oh, oh and then I told him, I was like, what's, what's, the, what's the difference between spoken word and comedy, you know? And he's like, well, spoken word is just more of a longer stretch out version of the story, you know? Comedy is just like, pop, 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 you know? Da, 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 da. It's like a little dance, you know? So he's telling me all these jokes and everything. I'm cutting his hair. At the end of the shoot, we shoot, we shot all day for Penthouse. It was awesome. The girls were cool. Um, they were very nice and stuff like that. They were cracking jokes up too. Everybody's just cracking jokes. We're all clowning around. So then um, after that, I actually really got to cut Rafi May's hair. So it was just me, just me and him. Just me and him. I had this back room and... Uh, at Bull Barbara's, uh, just a separate room. Now I'm out of the room and people can see me. So if you walk by, you can actually see me in the window, which is way better. But anyways, he comes in and he's like, hey, I want you to meet my family. And I was like, what? You want me to meet your family? He's like, yeah, my wife's coming. I got my son and my daughter. And I was like, oh, that's going to be really cool, man. Yeah. And then so um, before the haircut, he uh, he says, hey, I want you to meet my wife. I'm like, where is she? <laughs> he turned and she was there. Yeah, you know, I was like, oh, cool. That's so sweet. You know, she's she's very um very um shorter than he is, petite, very petite thing, very sweet, very sweet lady. In fact, uh, me when I was jogging um with uh, Mrs. Clown, me and Mrs. Clown were jogging uh, in Running Canyon, and we actually uh, bumped into her, and and we were talking. She was so happy to see me. I was happy to see her, and we kind of. Just touch base and we talked about, you know, Ralphie. I don't want to talk about him too much, but I was like, how's, how's the kids, you know? How's the kids going, you know? In fact, his his son, I was telling Ralphie, I'm like, is he going to be a comedian? You know, like, is he gonna, are you going to pass on the torch to your son? He's like, you know what? My son can do whatever the hell he wants, you know? I just support him. I love my family. I love my son. And I'm not forcing him to be a comedian at all. It's up to him to do what he wants to do. And I thought that was the most beautiful thing ever. To, to, tell, to tell your son you can do whatever you want and not force anything on him. But anyways, when I met his son, that kid clowned on me big time. He was like, hey, clown, made me laugh, clown. Uh, what is this? Uh -uh. He was like, he was getting me. He was doing a little dance and stuff. He was dancing, a little, little dancey dance. But cute kid, cute family. The daughter was very, you know, the quiet. I mean, well, maybe because I'm a clown, but like she was very, you know, the quiet one. The son was definitely like Ralphie. And it was just awesome seeing, you know, the um, the laughter. They definitely have a laughter family. They definitely have um, just a, a fun a fun life, you know, because he brings so much comedy to the world. And he still brings so much comedy to the world. If you guys don't know Ralphie May, check out Ralphie May on. He has his own um, uh, specials on Netflix, comedy specials. Check it out. It's funny. It's amazing. YouTube. They got free stuff on YouTube. So check out Ralphie May. Rest in peace. Peace, Ralphie. I'll always miss you. I love you, man. Um, I love you, bro. And we had good times, man, when I met you. So I just appreciate you and thank you for your laughter and thank you. You will always be missing. You'll always be living, man. Energy never dies. I know that for a fact. We're all energy. We all move. And uh, we touch other people's lives in good in a good way, you know. So peace and love to Ruffin May. Um, you guys like my stories? Let me know. I got more stories for you. I'm not I'm not gonna tell you who's the next story, but I got a lot of stories, a lot of stories to tell. I'm gonna do some videos and I'll, I'll post some pictures. So thank you guys. Appreciate you. Don't forget to smile. Yeah. Book yourself an appointment. I'll tell you more stories in person in the barber shop. The link's in the bio. Bull Barbers downtown LA. Come in for a damn haircut. Look good. Come on. Bring your family. Bring your grandma. Bring your, your grandpa, your dad, your brothers, everybody. Bring the whole family in and we'll talk about the stories. I am Richie the Barber. I love you guys and peace out. Happy, happy Friday. Is it Friday? 
Happy Friday.